You know how every year where there is a mass shooting that happens in my country and a good chunk of European countries as well as Australia give me a humongous heated um, lecture on how gun control is good and having my Second Amendment rights are bad and therefore I need to have my guns taken away so therefore no mass shootings would happen. That's how I view Sweden every time that there is a another migrant rape attack. They all slow down here. What is up everybody? This is Atticus the Death Meddler and for this video I'm going to be talking about the recent stir that my current president Donald J. Literally Hitler Trump said when he visited my state of Florida. He was mostly talking to his supporters that voted for him stating that we need to protect our borders, we need to protect our ways of life, we need strict immigration policies and thank you for supporting me and there's like no stranger in fact that he has kept a lot of his promises though his temporary Muslim ban was pissing off a lot of people but I will go into more details on why that I support on that temp ban but there are some downsides to that ban as well but I'm gonna be mostly talking about what he said which is this video right here we've got to keep our country safe you look at what's happening in Germany you look at what's happening last night in Sweden Sweden who would believe this Sweden they took in large numbers they're having problems like they never thought possible you look at what's happening in Brussels you look at what's happening all over the world take a look at Nice now he said some stuff about Sweden and I will admit that he said that there was like a terrorist attack in Sweden and I will have to admit with these people that made these tweets which I will show right now Now what Donald Trump said was pretty asinine. I'm going I'm not going to deny that. As a person that voted for Trump himself, I will say this that was there was no terrorist attacks that happened in Sweden. But that does not mean that what Trump said was wrong because Sweden has been in the shitter for a while now. Sweden, I'm sorry to say this regressives is not the progressive, socialist, multicultural utopia you wish America to be. It is in fact steadily turning into an Islamic caliphate. And it's been going on for quite a while. Now, I have made a couple videos on this whole situation here. Um, I've mentioned this in earlier videos, but I've really never made any video in where I talked more about this incident. But I feel as if that I really need to talk about this and I feel that this really needs to be addressed and I feel that Donald Trump really needs to talk more about Sweden now why am I talking about why did he talk about Sweden why am I talking about Sweden and what is going on in Sweden if you have remembered in one of my videos mostly my video on Roger Tolgren the uh, moocher metalhead in Sweden that basically said oh I have my I have a handicap which means that I listen to metal which is a mental retardation which I thought was fucking stupid but that's off the topic Sweden has been doing open has been doing an open border policy that has pretty much let in the entire third world into its borders whether it be from countries like Somalia Afghanistan Pakistan Iraq and Syria and Lebanon good chunk of all those those people coming from those countries are pouring in into Sweden and what have they brought with them they have brought in with them a lot of fucked up shit if you all remembered what happened at Germany last year with the mass molestations and rapes that have gone on Germany the terrorist attacks that have happened in Brussels and in France there's currently a migrant riot going on in Paris France right now which is absolutely fucked up but 
I'm mostly going to be talking about Sweden. Now, it is no stranger that Sweden is pretty much the rape capital of Europe as of right now. I can just state with some articles if you don't believe me. Like for instance, there was a wheelchair bound woman gang raped in a refugee center after asking to use a toilet. Still not convinced? How about this one? Sweden covering up migrant rape and violent crime for the sake of humanitarianism. They are deliberately covering up these migrant rape attacks and stuff, which I feel is just absolutely insane and asinine. And I'm not done with this yet. Gang rape arrests two Afghan migrants revealed as those arrested over horrific three hour rape streams on Facebook Live in Sweden. This is stuff that's actually happening, happening in Sweden. There are stats in Sweden that is off the charts. America, is dwarfs that and you all think oh America has the biggest rape culture ever the fact that Sweden is importing all of these people to their country all in the name of political correctness multiculturalism and diversity they're thinking oh it's gonna be one great thing no you're seeing all these mass rapes going on and it's counterproductive it hurts the people that already live there not to mention, there are 55 no safe zones across in Sweden. Recently, there is a mass ride attack going on in Malmo. How come it's a problem to, uh, to film here? I don't want to be filmed. I know, but why? What's the, what's the, why? I, don't, I, don't, I just don't want to spawn, you know? But why, why? Let me see, let me see. 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 Hello. Let me see. I'm let not me filming see. anything. Look, look. Show me. Show me what you got. Let go of me. Show me what you got. Show me. Show me. Let go. I'll show you. I don't want your phone. Show me. Let go. Let go. A veteran retired police deputy, Peter Springer, said on in recent interview that he said this. I'm so fucking tired what I'm writing here isn't politically correct, but I don't care. Our penitentiaries are on their knees. The schools are a mess. Healthcare is an inferno. The police is completely destroyed. Everyone knows why, but no one dares want to say why. And the thing is, is because people that talk about say, hey, this is some major problems in Sweden. We need to actually talk about this. You talk about this. There has been a law that's been passed a couple of years ago. If you talk ill over um, the open border policies and what happens <clears throat> with all this crime that comes in, you're arrested. And with this article right here, this new law is meant to stop Swedish people from complaining about their country being turned into a third world nation. Without freedom of speech, there could be no democracy. If you are not allowed to say certain things, then certain parties that support your ideas cannot exist. And Sweden is at high risk of turning into a communist USSR-like country. I would say more of like an Islamic caliphate because they're bringing in Muslim migrants into the West. But I could say that's a other possibility as well. And even if people don't get arrested for saying this stuff, you have of course the Revolutionary Front, which is an Antifa squad in Sweden, that if you say any of this stuff, they will vandalize your home and will deliberately murder you, all for the sake of killing whiteness male privilege. We went to the court case where alleged members of the Revolutionary Front were on trial for ransacking the victim's home to see if we could get any closer to meeting them. And those guys in there seem to think you're part of SMR, is that correct? They know that I'm a nationalist. They seem to think that nationalist means neo-Nazi, racist. I don't call me a uh, racist. The fact that <clears throat> these migrants can just go ahead and do all these atrocities and that the government gives them a pat on the fucking bat that's some max level Islamic privilege right there, I have to say. If this keeps going up, then Sweden, by the year 2030, is going to end up like a third world country. 
native Swedes are gonna be ending up as a minority. But no, you gotta stop whiteness. You gotta stop white people and stuff, which is not gonna go bode very well. And you wonder why a lot of Swedes, most notably Hannah Lindenholm, are nationalists in Sweden. You are, if you completely shut these people off, a lot of people that are very concerned about their welfare and their children's welfare, mind you, they're gonna turn into nationalist groups. That's the thing there. What's also very fucking asinine here is that, like, Sweden pretty much just, like, <clears throat> they think, oh, we're gonna save all these refugee children, when in fact, these supposed refugee children are actually men in their 20s and 30s. This meme right here that I'm showing you is a prime, is how I depict on how they view this type of shit. How old are you? I'm 12. We're like 1,200. Check my birth certificate. He's legit. <laughs> yeah, the problem isn't like this culture or that culture. The problem is male culture. I don't think the immigrant is the problem. No, it's not. Like, that's just a, like a tiny, tiny bit of the problem. And like, when that happen happens, like it's because we didn't like uh, bring uh, bring them in in the right way. I would very much like to see the evidence of such a connection. Do you think it's it's almost racist to make that connection? Yes, I think so. You are on math. In fact, a 15-year-old boy was stabbed to death by an Arab migrant because he was protecting a young girl from sexual assault. That's a thing going on. I know Breitbart isn't like a reliable source, but they're like one of the only sources that really speaks up about this stuff going on in Sweden. I have nothing ill against Sweden. I love Sweden. I love all of the metal bands that come from Sweden, soil work especially. I love all the beautiful women that comes from Sweden. I want Sweden to realize what they're doing is really fucked up, but there's just like no fucking hope left for Sweden. It's sad. It's really fucking sad. And that's, as I said at the beginning of the video, when you Europeans go after me because of a mass shooting, I go after you guys when a mass rape or a rape goes on in countries like Sweden. You wonder why the Second Amendment is in America in the first place? To stop these rapes from happening. The fact that, you know, Sweden is all about tolerance and progressivism and multiculturalism. Why aren't feminists going after this? Why aren't feminists attacking this sort of issue? You're against rape, but no, no, no. Um, it's, it's Swedish white women that are being raped, but you know, they're asking for it because they have white privilege. The one person in Sweden that talks most about this is of course, uh, angry foreigner. He is a, uh, actually he is a Bosnian migrant. He has, he is surprisingly also has a Muslim background since Bosnia and Herzegovina has a good population of Muslims there. But yes, he is a well assimilated migrant living in Sweden. The types of migrants that I like. Migrants that benefit off of society. I don't like mass immigration, which is what Sweden is doing. And Angry Foreigner makes a lot of great content to tackle on the issues of the migrant crisis. I'm still surprised that he has not been arrested for this, as well as having the Revolutionary Front go after his ass. But I guess it's the privilege of being a Bosnian migrant or so, but if you want to check out Angry Foreigner's content, it is down in the description below. He makes some really good content. I mentioned him when he made a video against Paul Joseph Watson, but yeah. Angry Foreigner does a lot of great content over this issue, and I highly recommend you check out his content. This is just a thing. Political correctness actually does kill. And I know people are gonna say, Atticus the death meddler, you, like, how? How does political correctness do that? The terrorist attacks in France, Brussels, Germany, the rapes that have gone out in Germany and Sweden, that is all from political correctness. That is the reason why Donald Trump said what he said at that rally, his little visit in Florida. 
That is why the alt-right is a thing now. Because these politically correct assholes decide to get feelings over safety first. And for that, I believe I am done with this video. <sighs> Sweden, if you have any balls left, if you have any Viking gall left inside of you, keep on fighting the good fight. Keep on fucking fighting the good fight. Without further ado, ladies and gents, I am Atticus the Death Meddler. Hope you liked this video. Subscribe to my channel. Links are in the description below. Keep it metal. Have a wonderful day. The first man I killed was the Earl's right-hand man when he came to take her away.